Welcome to the channel. This is just kind of a quick tutorial on a ID and late model core reverse seats. I have a four door and a uh, two door example. I don't have a convertible. Uh, the biggest telltale sign between the four door and the two door is you got this rounded edge on your four doors. You have a squared edge on the two door. Uh, other than that, the floor pans are the same on both models. So you can put a two door seat in a four door and a four door seat in a two door. Granted, without ma any modifications, as long as you have a 65 to 66 seat or a 67 through 69 seat and you're matching cars with those seats. Other than that, uh, you gotta do slight modifications to the seat frame or the car to make the seats fit. So an example of the uh, differences between 65 through 65 and 66 and then 67 and on from the research I've done is the way the seats are mounting. Everything else from visual uh, looking over is about the same. Uh, these tangs are wider on the 67 through 9. So this seat is a 67 and up. The mount is more like a late model, late 60s, early 70s style cars, you'll have the hook on the floor and this seat just kind of pops in. So they have a crossbar. The 65 and 6 has this little S hook that kind of just pops in the seat. Both seats fit on the floorboard of either cars. You just have to have the right mount on the floor. Or you could take this weld, you could take this tang and weld it here or vice versa, take this and weld it there and you could use whatever seat frame. So the coupe seat I believe is the most factory of the two and it's about 49 and a half inches from the back and the front is about 51 and a half. The uh, four door seat I believe has some extra foam in it so the back is measuring 51 inches. The quickest way to tell late model Corvair seats from early model Corvair seats is the uh, this little corner section will have two humps on all late model Corvair seats. Uh, early models will just have a single hump. It's real easy to tell from a stack of them. So I'll uh, put all these in the car just to give you all an idea of how it looks. I have this wonderful example of a three door to where you can see how it looks with a two door or a three a four door. It just works out good for this video. So here's the seat mount pads for a 65 through six. You just have these two little uh, tangs, tabs sticking up on the floor. And that little S swiggle will just pop in there and seats in. The 67 through nine should have a uh, something over here with a little hook that would actually slide the, probably like a little track with a hook just to slide the seat in and pop. I don't have a 67 or an up to demonstrate, but because the floors are the same, they will interchange. Here is the 67 seat. You can tell by the little hooks. It does fit and there's just no way of really holding the seat down. I'm sure you could just probably set the seat underneath the fold down or mounted seat and it would probably stay there. I mean, this thing is just gonna wiggle side to side, but you could probably get away with it for a while. Here's the four door seat. Kind of just pop it into position. Just line those tangs up. And then it just kind of pops in like that. The four door seat kind of matches the radius on the sides. The two door will just go straight and kind of have this void in the corner. The convertibles are going to be shorter because there's going to be an armrest base and have the fold down convertible top. With the four door, you have more leg room here versus the two door, you'd have this wasted void on this side. Vice versa, if you had the squared out seat, it would just come out and make it a little bit more challenging to get your feet in and out. But then you have this weird open spot, but it would work. Just kind of the 
differences. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe, uh, like. If I missed anything, just put it down in the comments. So I'm not all knowing, I just know enough to get myself in trouble, like buying a late model seat and finding out it won't fit in your car.